I'm Alessandra Barrett, Senior Content Editor for JOC, and I'm at our 2019 TPM conference with Mark Laufer, CEO of Laufer Group International. Great to see you again. Nice to be back. Last year when we spoke, we were wondering whether the market was going to shift for the carriers or for the BCOs. We ended up with high freight rates and uh, capacity under control. Do you think that that was due to a marked cultural shift in how things were operating or just the market? Actually, it's a little bit of both. Last year, we saw a traditional uh, space situation that works in the carrier's favor, and as they have done in every tight space situation, they raised rates and held them. What was different about last year was that the carrier showed discipline even when the market was high. They pulled um, capacity during peak season. They pulled capacity when in other years they would have added capacity. And they actually created a shortage, which drove rates even further and further, alienating a lot of shippers in the process. Culturally, it remains to be seen where the carriers have made a fundamental shift. But I will say this, with less carriers to worry about, and the banks breathing down their neck to regain profitability. I think that right now the mindset of the carriers is much stronger than it ever has been before to change their culture to maintain profitability, no matter what the market goes up or down. If they do this in a down market, that will be a sign that there has been a fundamental shift in the carrier mentality. And that we'll find out when things slow down. Venture capitalists have been pouring money into technology, and we know that our space has just had all of these new startups creep up, and things are changing dramatically. Do you think 2019 is the year that technology will disrupt in the way that everyone's been talking about? This is probably the most interesting question facing the industry right now. Uh, I may be a minority view, but I actually think that technology is not the driver that many people think it is. I think that the industry needs to create a minimum level of technology that exists, that the kind of technology that exists in other businesses, but technology itself is not going to be the game changer here because once we get to common data standards, which is something that uh, was talked about in today's um, TPM uh, um, session at 12 o'clock. Once we get to a place where we have uh, standards that are adhered to by all the carriers, everybody will have access to the same level of technology, which is the idea. And then it will just be as common as the kind of technology that you have on your phone or anything else. And service will continue to be the differentiating factor. So no, I don't think that Technology will be the differentiating factor, and I think that VCs are in for a very, very sad surprise when they figure this out. I think there's an awful lot of money chasing um, a dream that is not going to come to fruition in our industry. On the topic of evolution of the industry, we have ocean carriers walking into the, or expanding into custom brokerage. Do you think that they want to actually move into that space? Where do you think that's going to go? What's the future there? I think that carriers right now are desperate to find ancillary services other than the commoditized ocean shipping services that they've traditionally offered to drive revenue into their system. I do not think the carriers are well suited towards customs brokerage or towards um, logistics management. I think that's not their specialty. I think that if you look at other industries, asset owners usually employ third parties to fill or sell their assets. A perfect example being a construction company builds a building and then hires a leasing agent to fill it. I think this model runs throughout most industries. I think ultimately the carriers will revert to that model. They've tried this before and they failed. I have no reason to believe that it'll be any different this time around. It's always great to get your insight, Mark. Thanks for sitting down with me today. It's always a pleasure to see you. I've been speaking with Mark Laufer, CEO of Laufer Group International.